Hello, I'm Raymond, and welcome to another Project Feline devlog, documenting the development of my dream game. In Project Feline, you play as Gabby, a feline-human hybrid who can ride on walls. And over the past several weeks, I've been developing a new mechanic, allowing Gabby to grind on rails. I've also developed some new maps to test this new gameplay dynamic. I'm really excited to show you guys these features and talk about the development process. So let's get into it. It's been around four weeks since my last update, and as per my last episode, I'm trying to keep development goals contained within two week sprints. I spent the first sprint of this month developing a brand new mechanic for the game, grinding. I'm super excited to get to show you this, and I think you'll all have a lot of fun with this new feature. As many of you know, Project Feline is currently in the pre-alpha stage of development. While I am eager to move the project to the full production stage, I would like to spend the time to get a solid grasp on what the core gameplay is first. I know many of you want to know more about Gabby's story, but as much as I'd love to work on those areas, I believe that the gameplay should come first. And thanks to the overwhelming community support and feedback, I've been able to test out various ideas to refine the game. Fortunately, many players have enjoyed the wall ride mechanic on its own, but I felt that the game could benefit from some variety. In this spirit, I wanted to continue pushing the boundaries for this new update and test out how a grinder mechanic would work with my wall riding gameplay. As a game developer, it's easy to get pigeonholed on the mechanics of the game, and I think it can be difficult to see the bigger picture when preoccupied with coding and bug fixing. I've fallen into this trap many times before, however, taking a step back and looking at my game as an experience rather than a set of mechanics helped me to set boundaries on what kind of mechanics I should implement and what ones I shouldn't. After a couple of weeks developing and testing the grind mechanic, it felt like it could be a very welcome fit with the experience I'm trying to deliver. And I will say that jumping off a wall, landing on a grind rail, then jumping off that grind rail to ride another wall felt satisfying. So let's hop into the latest build and see how it works. While Gabby is jumping, the player can move her near a grind rail to automatically attach to it and start grinding. Gabby will then continue to grind along the rail until she reaches the end of the rail, in which case she will automatically detach from it. If you jump while grinding, Gabby will detach early and soar through the air while carrying her grind momentum. She can then jump to another grind rail or perform a wall ride. While grinding is still a bit rough around the edges, I think it gets the idea across. If enough people find this fun, I'd like to further polish and refine this mechanic, but for now, I'm just testing the waters. You can play the new prototype build with this mechanic linked in the video description. Feel welcome to give it a try and let me know your thoughts in the comments. After spending my first development sprint on the grind mechanic, I spent the next two week sprint developing new maps to test out this gameplay. To construct my new maps, I borrowed a technique from Respawn Entertainment that they call Action Blocks, which they used to develop the core gameplay and level ideas for Titanfall 2. One of Respawn's level designers, Christopher Dion, defines Action Blocks as Game Jam style design sprints, and that the point of them is to encourage creative play and to encourage designers to think about gameplay. In Christopher's 2018 GDC talk, he lists some guidelines on creating action blocks. First, they must be quick and dirty, made in a week or less. They should be made by a single designer working alone. They must have a skill test that could fit into a level such as platforming or combat. No skits or cool moments. You couldn't put something in just because it looked cool unless you could turn it into a skill test. Action blocks also didn't need context and could be as abstract as desired. And finally, they must be playable. After the design team spent six weeks prototyping, they had made over 45 unique action blocks, each one exploring a new type of gameplay. After each week, they would gather the whole team, play test each other's blocks, and get a feel for what did and didn't work. Now, very few of these action blocks actually made it into the final game, but the tone and ideas explored in these blocks had a strong influence on the final experience. If you'd like to know more about this technique, I'll link the GDC talk in the video description. I thought it was very interesting, and it seemed like a great process to follow, so I got to work on creating my own action blocks for Project Feline. To create these blocks, I used the Super Grid Starter Pack from the Unreal Marketplace, 
and I reconstructed an earlier map I made, and I constructed an entirely new map, featuring areas to wall ride and grind. These maps are included in a new build of the game, with more maps well on the way. While testing these new maps, I found it increasingly difficult to get Gabby to go where I wanted, as her movement seemed a lot wilder compared to other platforming or parkour games I've played. I started to question as to whether this wild high-speed movement was something I wanted to keep at the expense of larger, more open levels, or to restrain to allow precise navigation in smaller, tighter environments. For this update I went with the latter option and restrained Gabby's movement while still trying to maintain that feeling of momentum and flow. While her movement is slower than before, I think the increased friction and tighter level of control makes for a better experience. Let's hop into the new build and see these changes in action. I started by removing the momentum combo system where Gabby's wall ride velocity would multiply depending on how many times the player could combo a wall ride without landing. While this idea seemed good on paper, it became increasingly difficult to design levels around three different speeds. The added momentum also made traversing the level a lot more difficult, giving the player less time to react to the environment. I've since removed this feature and instead increased the base wall ride speed to compensate, and hopefully this change makes it a lot easier to navigate through levels. I've also increased Gabby's friction while moving on the ground, allowing her to make sharper turns with faster acceleration and deceleration. As a result, the movement should feel a lot more precise, especially in platforming areas. And the final major change I've made is the placement of the camera. I've moved the camera a lot closer to Gabby. I believe having the camera closer in can help the game feel more intense, and I believe it helps players feel a bit more connected with the character. Of course, I'd love to know your thoughts. Download the new build, linked in the video description, and let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful or entertaining, be sure to like the video, subscribe, and enable notifications so you don't miss the next devlog. These devlogs are funded by all my supporters on Patreon, and I'd like to give a special thank you to my top tier supporters. If you'd like to support the production of these videos, you can make your pledge via my Patreon linked in the description and get exclusive access to behind the scenes posts and exclusive chats on my Discord server. I'd like to thank the artists behind this episode's wonderful Project Feline fan art submissions. If you'd like to have your fan art featured in these videos, submit them to our Discord server linked in the description. And of course, if you'd like to see more updates from me in between uploads, be sure to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Thank you for watching, have fun, and I'll see you in the next one.